Mark Rothko is an American painter known for his abstract and color-focused paintings. His paintings are made up of squares and rectangles, which are referred to as color fields. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to be making a Rothko style painting inspired by Mark Rothko. Um, and we're going to be using cardboard. We're going to need our palette, piece of paper, glue, paintbrush. Take everything out of your kit and let's get started. Okay, so I have four different sized pieces of cardboard in rectangular form or square form. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to start to paint them. So I'm going to take out my palette. You're going to open it up. Careful when you're opening up. Sometimes the acrylic paint splatters a bit. You might want to put an apron on or a messy shirt. You're also going to need a water cup so that we can clean our paintbrush in between each color. So I'm going to start with one and I'm going to start to get it all ready. So my first piece is painted and I need to wash my brush before I do any other colors. So we are going to grab our water cup. Make sure you're scraping your brush along the sides when you put it in there really helping to get all that paint out and then we are going to pinch our fingers together our thumb and our pointer finger like this and we're going to milk the cow that's what we call this when we take all the water out of our brush make sure there's no paint left squeezing it out right over our water container and now my paintbrush is ready for me to paint my next piece of cardboard and then we'll start to glue after we let them dry for a little while so what I want you to do is I want you to choose out your colors from your palette that you're going to start painting and let's start painting. <music> So now my cardboard pieces are all dried. I am ready to start gluing them down. So I need my big sheet of paper. I'm going to put that down and my glue with my paintbrush. I'm going to apply the glue with the paintbrush to the back side of the cardboard. And before you start gluing, try and make sure almost like setting it up before we start gluing, mapping out where you want your pieces to go and how you want it to look. So once you have it set up the way you'd like on your paper, then we can start to add the glue to the back side of our cardboard. And we're gonna do that to all of them and then place them down on our paper. So let's start gluing. And the cardboard is a little bit thicker than the paper, so you might just kind of have to push it down a little bit as it starts to dry. This is my painting, and you can put it anywhere you'd like if you want it with the yellow up top, the purple up top, landscape, or portrait. And we're going to set this aside to let the glue dry. I would love to see your creations you've created today. So feel free to have your parents email them to me or they can share them on our social media, either our Facebook or our Instagram page. I'd love to see your paintings. So thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun today.